Now, while we're on the topic of marijuana policy reform, I want to spotlight an organization out there fighting the good fight. So here's their founder and his call to action. Hi, my name is Mark Brownstein. I'm the bass player of the Disco Biscuits and the co-founder and co-chair of Headcount.org and the Cannabis Voter Project. Do you care about cannabis reform? Do you care about the legalization of marijuana? Then you should care about voting and you should make sure that your vote is actually heard because over the last six years, we've seen an incredible amount of change in the landscape around cannabis laws in this country. We have seen cannabis prohibition being toppled at the state level, one state after another like dominoes. And across the board, all of this change can be traced back directly to the ballot box. The Cannabis Voter Project has been taking to the streets and social media since 2018, educating citizens and working to reach their goal of a million self-identified cannabis voters by the 2020 election. Their website, CannabisVoter.info, has an interactive map that helps you find your representative and view their voting record on cannabis reform. They even have a link right on their homepage for you to register to vote. The CVP stresses the importance of voting and is working hard to better inform and recruit voters as well as help them find their voice in Washington. They were founded by Headcount, a civic engagement group dedicated to registering new voters using concerts and music festivals to engage younger people. They've registered over 650,000 voters since their founding in 2004 and have over 100 partners and sponsors. They even work to start the hashtag ThankYouNextGen to recruit voters during Ariana Grande's Sweetener Tour in 2019. I think volunteering for this organization would be the only way I'd go to an Ariana Grande concert, but together they registered over 30,000 new voters across the country. The Cannabis Voter Project has dozens of sponsors and partners, including the National Cannabis Industry Association, Pro Cannabis Media, and Terrapin Care Station, one of the few dispensaries I've actually been to. But their premier sponsor is Canacraft, a marijuana farm and distribution company located in California with a range of brands and products. The CVP are gaining traction and have been featured in magazines and newspapers like Forbes and Time, as well as more on-brand publications such as High Times and Herb. You can sign up to volunteer and spread the message when large events are back up and running, but until then you can check out the website and social media to stay updated on the fight to make pot legal again. You can also declare yourself a cannabis voter and let your representative know how important legalization is to you. The government is counting on stoners and the counterculture movement to stay out of politics. They need us to stay apathetic to what they're doing. Getting engaged, showing up to the polls, contacting your representatives, or volunteering on the campaigns against them are the only ways to get real cannabis reform in this country. Go to CannabisVoter.info to get involved. And if you want to get involved with other policy changes, campaigns, protests, or charity work, you can go to fightforliberty.com slash join.